गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई विल बी टेकिंग योर लेक्चर ऑन द रिसर्च मैथडोलॉजी दिस इज द कोर्स कंटेंट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू कवर मीनिंग ऑफ रिसर्च ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ रिसर्च वॉट मोटिवेट्स यू फॉर द रिसर्च टाइप ऑफ रिसर्च वॉट इज द रिसर्च प्रोसेस एंड वॉट इज द क्राइटेरिया फॉर द गुड रिसर्च सो टूडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ रिसर्च now in the mind of every student a question comes what is research so students research means a search for the knowledge when we search a knowledge or we want to improve our knowledge or update the knowledge on the basis of the factual data we call it as a research so research is basically the search of the knowledge we may add certain points in the already existing knowledge or we can search a new concept now there are the different definitions of the research which are given by the different authors and by the different books now as per the advanced learners dictionary of the current english lays down the meaning of the research as a careful investigation or inquiry especially through the search for the new facts in any branch of the knowledge now see students if you already have a concept and you want to add certain new points in that already existing concept what you have to do is you have to do certain investigations now these investigations you will be doing in the form of the survey you may do this investigation in the form of the research experiments or many other tools and once you are done with your investigation you are going to make a concept on the basis of the data you will be receiving after this investigation and then you can definitely add whatever uh, new additions are there in the concepts in this branch of knowledge now as i mentioned that different people they have given the different definitions of the research now some people consider that research is nothing but it's a movement it's a movement from the known to unknown see students sometimes the concept may be already known to you and you want to add something in that and for that you are doing the research and sometimes it may be totally unknown now i'll give you a very uh, good example of the covid students when the covid it started infecting the world's population we were not knowing much about the covid and its virus then we start searching about it so it was a new concept but once we have developed a concept that the covid virus is there which is actually responsible for the respiratory disease we started to add certain new facts about the covid so that is again a research identifying a new problem or doing the additions in the already existing problem now basically the research is an academic activity so most of the time the research is done by the students by the faculty by the scientist now here is a very uh, good definition which is given by the clifford woody and according to him the research is comprises or it is consist of defining and redefining the problems students as i just mentioned that you may have a problem or you may define this problem again then formulating a hypothesis or suggested solutions on the basis of the problem you can decide a hypothesis and on the basis of your hypothesis you can also suggest some solutions 
but how you are going to prove your hypothesis whatever you have given by collecting the data once you have collected the data or you have performed an experiment you are going to organize your results once you have organized your results you are going to evaluate your data and on the basis of the evaluation of your data you are going to make certain conclusions and on the basis of that your uh, conclusions you are going to decide whether your hypothesis that you proposed it was correct or it was wrong so all these steps are the part of the research identifying a problem formulating a hypothesis to prove this hypothesis you are collecting the data or you are doing certain experiments you are organizing your results you are evaluating your data and then you are reaching on a conclusion so uh, here uh, to give you a better understanding that what is research i want to give you a very good example now but just suppose you are working in the field of health and suppose if you are a front line service provider or you are a supervisor or you are a health planner you may be a nurse you may be a doctor you may be a occupational therapist a physiotherapist a social worker or a paramedic now in any of these positions some of the following questions may come to your mind or someone else may ask you some of the questions and you have to find the answers of these questions and when you start finding the answers of these questions that will be the research say for the example because you are a health worker or if you are a doctor then you have to find out the answer of this question that how many patient do i see every day then out of this patients what are some of the most common conditions which are prevalent among my patients whether most of them they are suffering from the heart diseases or many of them they are suffering from the common infections or what are the diseases which are most commonly found in the patients which are visiting you then you will try to find out that if a particular disease is prevalent then what are the causes of these conditions and then why do some people have a particular condition whereas the other do not have what are the factors which make a person resistant against that disease while the other person is very susceptible and suffering then on the basis of this data you are going to see that what are the health needs of the community what do you have to do for the community so that they can overcome from this problem and then what do you have to do that you have to see that how you can demonstrate the effectiveness of your services that you have to ask yourself why do some people use the services while others are not using what are the factors that even the policies are there even many you know policies are there for the improvement of the health but all people are not uh, you know aware of it so you have to also think that what the people think about your services how satisfied are the patient with the services that you are giving and how you can improve the services now students when you will try to find out the answers of all these questions what do you have to do you have to do the survey you have to talk to your patients you have to keep the data of the uh, those answers those you will be getting from your patients you have to keep a record of the patients those you uh, those will be visiting at your clinic and on the basis of that you will be reaching to some conclusions right so this is a very good example of the research so at last i'll say the in short the search for a knowledge through a objective and a systematic method of finding solution to a problem is basically a 
research means first we have to identify a problem and on the basis of the problem you have to set your objectives that how you are going to proceed to achieve your goals you have to use the systematic methods for that and then ultimately you will be having the idea that how can you find out the solution for the problem so that is research i hope you understood the concept that what is the meaning of the research thank you so much